Welcome to the next session on Answers Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to analyze a piston ring for static structural analysis. This is the piston ring. We have already designed the piston ring in the previous class. So we are going to use the same piston ring and we are going to analyze it for its structural analysis. So if you see this piston ring, as I have already told you, that these two ends are just opened up with the help of a plier and it is fixed into this groove. This is how the piston assembly looks like. So you can see here, these are the grooves in which these kind of piston rings are attached. You can also see this image. These are the grooves in which the piston ring will be attached. The material that is used for piston ring is very important because as you have understood, the piston ring material should have high wear resistance. This is because the piston rings will be placed in the gap between the piston's outer diameter and the inner cylinder walls. That's what you can see here. As the piston moves up and down, so if you see this kind of a arrangement assembly, this piston, when it is going to move up and down during every combustion cycle, that is two times to be precise, if it's a two stroke or four stroke, it will be four times. The piston rings will continuously brush against the cylinder's inner walls throughout these movements. So on this inner wall, this piston ring is going to rub against it. Hence, it is absolutely necessary for the piston rings to have high wear resistance. If not, they will be damaged too soon from all the wear that the piston and cylinder walls put them through. Secondly, the piston ring material should have good elastic properties. That's because you don't want the piston ring to be too brittle and should be able to expand if it is subjected to high temperatures. And also it should have a high resistance to heat because these kind of piston rings and this piston head will be subjected to very high temperature from the IC engines. So we are going to talk about the thermal part in the next video. As of now we are talking about the static structural part. So let's get started with it. The material which will be fixed which has all the properties as we just discussed is going to be cast iron. Here you can see we have grey cast iron and ANSYS general materials and stainless steel is also a material that is used so we are going to analyze for two materials. We will go back to project and update project. Next I will go to geometry and right click. I will import the geometry as I have just created it in the previous class. So this is the step file that I am importing. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. First, I'll go to geometry. I'll choose the path and I'll assign material as grey cast iron. Next, I'll go to mesh and I'll change the sizing of the mesh to fine and update it. After this, I will go to static structural and I am going to first insert pressure. As you have seen that we have pressed on this wall and we have fitted it on the piston head. So I am going to apply pressure. Now the pressure that these piston rings are subjected to are quite high. So I will give a value of 120 megapascal. Now since this end has some pressure, there has to be some end which is fixed. So this is the end. So this is the end that is fixed. And this is another end that is fixed. Next I'll go to solution and insert deformation total. I also want to see the directional deformation. If you see here, this direction is Y. Next, I will insert strain equivalent. 
stress equivalent if you want to see the factor of safety just click on stress tool and safety factor and now click on solve so you can see here this is the total deformation that is 0.0026 mm you can animate and check the result these two ends when i have applied fixed are actually the ends which are compressed and this is the portion which is given some pressure and it is resting on the piston head's groove so this is how it is going to deform next i'll go for directional deformation along the y axis you can see the maximum value 0.001874 mm i'll just click on max min to see where the value is maximum and where it is minimum next we will see the strain on this material you can see this is the zone where the strain is maximum and the value is 0.001834 next we will see the stress the stress is 194.92 mega pascal on this body and the safety factor as you see is very less it is showing zero right now because the pressure that i have applied is quite high so you can just reduce this pressure to say 80 mega pascal and then check the solution you will see the stress is reduced to 129.95 mega pascal the strain has also reduced to 0.001249 the directional deformation along the y axis is now 0.001258 mm and total deformation is 0.00 179 mm safety factor as you can see is still very less because the pressure that we have applied is quite high on this body so as you reduce the pressure you will see that your body is getting more and more safer now suppose if i change the material to stainless steel and uh, let's solve it now you can see the deformation is very less it is 0.00065 mm the directional deformation is 0.00439 mm you can see that the deformation is maximum in this zone and that's where you can see this kind of a deformation over here so this is the elastic strain over the body 0.0043 and the stress is quite less 79 mega pascal that's because you are using steel as a material and the safety factor is now better as you can see over your body as compared to grey cast iron certain zone are going to be safer it is having a safety factor of 15 and in the other areas you can see that there are variable safety factors you can read the values based on the color from here now this is depending on the pressure that you have applied if you reduce the pressure further you will get even better results for it so with this i end the session on structure analysis of piston ring if you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon for latest video updates see you in the next session thank you